¿Cuál es bien? Sí, es tan sexy, ¿no? Claro, sí, es que UM, pergi kat channel tu cari video live live hi guys video ingatkan cik badi <laughs> aku percaya eh tak ada tengok video ame tak memang ada lah cik badi pergi eh, bukan dia ada yang tu ame bawa ah <laughs> this is the tak ada ada, nah. ada. Oh. tak tahu dia tengok ni bilik kebal ni ha bilik kebal tu strong room <laughs> Pakai laptop kan ni ha. Sampai pun. Masa odik ni tu. Odik sini ni. Dia nak tunjuk pun ni masa. Lah, ini dia pakai sebelah tak eh. Ha. Okey.
Okay. Uh, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh uh, Do the participant in the Google Meet Can hear my voice or not? Can anyone respond? Yes, yes. yes. Okay, uh, alright So, uh, thank you very much For giving your time uh, To join our next session for Ta'aruf this morning Alright for this morning, we will have a session with our Deputy Dean of Student Development and Community Engagement, Brother Taifun Isham bin Taib. Okay, so uh, there are a lot of things under the purview of this office, or in short, we call it ODDSDCE. Mm. Alright, uh, so if you have any question, uh, you can ask in the chat. Also, there are links for YouTube live stream. So you can ask your question on the live stream. Uh, okay, so without further ado, I would like to invite our Deputy Dean, Brother Taifun Isham Bintai, to start his speech. Please welcome. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Alhamdulillah Alhamdulillah Zee hadana lihada Wa ma kunna lina tadi lawla Anadana Allah Ashadu an la ilaha illallah Ashadu anna muhammadan abduhu wa rasuluh First and foremost uh, Thank you very much To Encik Zainal Encik Zainal is our officer in charge For this uh, Leadership and training unit uh, about the unit, I will explain to everyone later. And then, of course, uh, to all our newly registered online students, Alan Wasalan Marhaban Bikum, for being enrolled to this university. And then to our technical team that hear us in this uh, mini studio uh, for this uh, online recording for this uh, briefing session and uh, inshallah assalamualaikum warahmatullahi again um, brothers and sisters uh, first the objective for this 
of this briefing is to introduce uh, to everyone about my office, its function, and what are the things that you should know uh, pertaining to the activities, student programs, your welfare, and then of course to maintain the order of this campus, and then other things, uh, inshallah. So let us begin with my slide presentation. So please uh, bear with us about this. Uh, we have a, a slight delay on preparing the, the, the technical aspect. Right. So congratulations to everyone for being accepted to this uh, one of the prominent universities, not just in uh, our uh, level, but international level. The things that you should know about this uh, center is that uh, um, it prepares you for this uh, undergraduate program. So here in the center, besides the uh, academic matters that I believe being uh, explained in detail by the deputy dean of uh, Deputy Dean Academic and Industrial Linkages, Brother Isri Aisara. Uh, beside of that, uh, we have the, what we call this uh, student development, which will cater about all the student matters and affairs. Okay, next, please. Next slide. So again, Alan Wasalan, Marhaban Diku, to the Center for Foundation Studies and Academy. Uh, for those of you who are not really new about this academy, it's actually our, it's our private wing yeah, for the foundation uh, level. Uh, besides the mainstream, uh, from the, main, the student from mainstream uh, education uh, system, you also have the, we're taking in uh, the, the students who come in as, a, as a private students, uh, but also they we also joining you later on in the undergraduates program. Okay. Next. So mostly the academy students uh, will take them in from the international uh, international applications. So besides we have local application, we also accept students uh, abroad uh, from other countries, uh, such as from uh, from the the, the east, uh, the, the the Middle East countries, uh, such as from the Arab Saudi. We also have students from Maldives, also have students from Bangladesh, Indonesia, also come in, and we do accept them. So this student we put under academy. Which is our private wing, actually. Okay, next. So my office is known as uh, Student Development and Community Engagement, or well known as SDCE. Uh, please uh, bear in mind the short form of the the, the the term, which is SDCE. So this is me. Uh, my name is Taifun Nisham Tai. I'm the Deputy Dean for Student Development and Community Engagement for this uh, Center for Foundation Studies, uh, IIUM, or well known as CFS. Okay, next. Just sharing a few pictures that we have done uh, in previous month, in some, sometime in August. Uh, during that time, when the, the COVID-19 pandemic was uh, the, the conditions, most of the cases were being reduced, so the government allow the students to come in into the campus. Uh, they register physically in campus uh, last August. So there are some pictures that I'd like to share to you. And very unfortunately that this time around, uh, we have uh, the increase uh, of the cases. So that is why 
the university decided, not just uh, this university, but also other university as well, that we decided um, all students should uh, go online, uh, including the registration process and the classes also must be conducted online. But inshallah, let us pray together so that we can have the, the, the what we call the, the condition uh, will be will be okay and then uh, the government can allow and the management university can allow all students to come into campus so and in the second half of the semester two okay next so this is the objective of my office uh, which is to produce holistic student personality uh, to be the good members of the society contribute with the good akhla, you know, nowadays you can see from the social media, uh, some people, some individuals, uh, we, uh, they convey with the very root uh, languages. So we don't want this in our society. So that is why one of the main objective of my office is to produce a good members of the society with a good akhla, with a good communication skill, with a good interpersonal communication skills. And then uh, the next one is to produce uh, future university students for the undergraduate program. Not just for our society, but to be the good members of the Muslim Ummah of the whole world, uh, inshallah. And then to be a better future leaders, uh, not just uh, in, uh, in our country, but also the international level. And then last one is to be obedient servants and vassigrants of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala which is uh, to pray five daily prayers, you know, and to perform other Muslim obligations and not to involve with the, with the what we call this, uh, uh, munkar, uh, munkar uh, uh, actions. Uh, uh, for example, you must avoid the ikhtilat, uh, you must avoid close proximity and others. Okay, next. So these are the units under my office. Uh, altogether, we have uh, six units. Uh, the first one is the leadership and training units, which is the head of this unit. It is the one who just uh, uh, the one who give you the opening remark. And then we have the Counseling and Career Services Unit. We have Presidential, Discipline and Welfare Unit. We have the unit which will produce the world-class uh, debater, which is the IIUM World Debate and Oratory Unit, or I won't. And we have Sports Unit, and we have Chitra. Okay, next. So the first one. Uh, the leadership and training units, uh, the head of this unit is Raja Zainal, which is the one who gave the opening remark just now. Okay, next. Now, the objective of this uh, unit is to create awareness on the role and functions uh, as a foundation student and as a future leaders. And then, uh, this unit is to encourage all students to be active, to participate in the co-curricular activities, to nurture the student leadership potential and to provide a student platform to involve themselves uh, in a minimum one academic-based society and one club of their choice. So this one example is the previous uh, student's uh, leader lineup. Now, our main student's representative in this center is called Students Coordination Committee. Now, this uh, committee is in charge to lead uh, the students in the center uh, in terms of managing the program, to be the two-way communication between the students and the management, and then for the students to voice out their suggestion, their plan to the top management and others. So this is the, the main function of the student coalition committee. Um, this uh, SEC must be understood that it's not uh, any political influence or NGO influence. Eh? So it's not something that you can do whatever, whatever you like, just like happening in the, in the outside of the campus. 
Now, the, one of the main objectives of SCC, SCC is to nurture the students with the culture of leadership, a good leadership, you know? A good leadership combined to produce the student with the, the, with the high level of uh, communication skills and leadership skills. And then to show examples to all students with good akhlaq and good communication skills between among the students and to the other management uh, levels, to the lecturers and to all staff of this campus. So these are some pictures uh, of the of, of previous program. Okay, next. So what are the societies that we have in this campus? Uh, we have engineering student society, we have law student society, we have medical sciences student society, architecture, ICT society, language society such as BAN and BA. BAN stands for Bachelor of English Language and BA stands for Bachelor in Arabic. We also have pre sciences student society, we have ARCOM, ANCOM, TPHM student society, uh, IRK and Heritage student society, we have HS student society, and also have economic and management society. And the clubs that we have, among others, uh, we have Environment and Nature Club, Red Crescent, Cult Creative and Multimedia, Culture and Arts Club, Perkin Club, Entrepreneur Club, and Global Community Club. And we have also the Martial Arts Clubs, that you can, uh, you can refer to this slide. Uh, we have uh, Seni Sila Gayong, Sila Cheka, Karate, Taekwondo, Rovers, and then we also have the outdoor base club such as uh, Rover Scout and Adventure and Recreational Club. Next one is the IAM World Debate Oratory Unit, this I would. The head of this unit is uh, Brother Jeffrey Khairil Zabri. Uh, Besides as a head of the unit, uh, Brother Jeffrey is also our lecturer in the center. So there are some pictures to share with uh, all of you. We, we have been champion for a few competitions before. Um, now, besides uh, debating skills, now, uh, our sisters must understand that uh, the function of this unit is more than that. Uh, for example, by joining this, uh, this unit or this society. Not just you can nurture your debating skills, but also public speaking skills, and then you can also experience or expose yourself to other three different languages, such as English and Arab, and then uh, you can develop your thinking skills, you can develop and polish your communication skills and management skills, and even study skills. So among others, the activities conducted by this unit, uh, weekly training, uh, and then uh, you attended by experienced debate alumni from my uh, main campus. Workshop, for example, speaker, also speaker corner, which can polish your uh, public speaking skills. We also have an internal debate and public speaking competition in the campus. Uh, and then to, to, to represent, you get the opportunities to represent IUM International Table sorry, international level debate uh, tournaments organized in Malaysia and abroad. Of course, nowadays, most of the competition are conducted online, uh, debates online, where with this uh, online debate competition, you will get to interact or you can get to compete with the other debaters from all around the world uh, because this online can go anywhere in the world, you know. Okay, next. And then these are the things that uh, the things that you can develop yourself and then you can compete, you know, to, to get uh, good uh, jobs in the GLC, private international companies, public offices, to be CEO companies, in executive. Now you must understand, uh, besides qualifications, uh, a good commanding in uh, public speaking skills is needed uh, for you to to get the job or higher post in the GLC, private sectors, uh, CEO of companies, senior executive. So, getting the good uh, results is one thing. 
Another thing is how you communicate and how you uh, lead the company. It's another thing that uh, that you must uh, aware of, you know, to go higher level in the management uh, in the management uh, uh, management level. Okay, next. So these are the differences uh, that you can get by joining uh, this uh, iWorld. Uh, experience life differently, uh, widen your perspective, enhance your networking. So actually it's uh, a good character building uh, for yourself. Next. Now next unit is the Counseling and Career Services Unit, or well known as CCSU. The head of the unit is Madam Khairani Abdul Hamid. She is a senior psychology officer with a very vast experience uh, in dealing with uh, um, what is uh, counseling and career unit or so services. Okay, next. So these are the structure of this office. Okay, next. Now, the type of services uh, um, offered by this unit. Uh, now, you must understand, brothers and sisters, uh, when you talk about counseling and career units, this unit doesn't only handle uh, students with uh, problems in, uh, in psychology or in other things. Actually, counseling and services units offering well, a lot of opportunities for you to develop your personal uh, skills and even to develop your interpersonal skills. You know? So for example, uh, they have this uh, career guidance, for example, now here you will um, experience, so you get more knowledge on the career path that you are going into after um, you graduate from this university. And also they provide consultations, uh, personality assessment, oh, this is very important, personality assessment for you to assess yourself well, um, in which area that you are good off. Right, huh? So then they have a group session for motivation and others. So there are many, many, many programs uh, conducted, organized by CCSU. Uh, workshop, academic enhancements, peer counseling program, self-development, awareness campaign, study skill and management, career talk, even community service, uh, motivation, and others. So you see, you know, please bear in mind that uh, counseling and, and career is not just handling problematic students, but it is another platform for you to develop yourself, uh, to, to explore yourself, the, the potential inside you. Okay, next. So this, these are the main reasons uh, that you should see a counselor. Uh, Sometimes uh, you won't know whether um, you, are, you are the one who should meet the counselor or not. Uh, so based on this list, you can see that, well, they are listed uh, list, uh, uh, various lists of, of reasons that you should see your counselor. For example, if you have problem with communication, for example, you know, when you come into this level or higher level, most of you will be involved in uh, presentation session, uh, in, in not just in, in during, during your studies in CFS, but also during your undergraduates. And later on, maybe um, when you get into a company whatsoever, you will sometime to have to present uh, some presentation. So there is one. If you think that you have problem in communication, so you should see the counselor. Lack of self confidence, huh? financial problem. Of course, uh, the counselor will not provide you cash money, but they might advise you how to manage your finance. Uh, feel anxiety, uneasy. You feel guilty all the time. You feel lost or shy. You know, maybe later on when you got a chance to be in the campus, suddenly you meet uh, many friends from all around the country, and you feel shy. You know, so you should see a counselor. Uh, you lack of self-discipline, sex problem, assertive, restless, inferior, sinful, stress or sick. Please, these are just some of the list of the reason that you should you 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 should have appointment with the counselor. But please not uh, limit yourself into this list of reason only. As long as you feel something is not right, so 
we suggest you go and set an appointment with the counselor. So this is how the the mechanism that you you sh well how you want to meet the counselor. For example, one is uh, you might just walk in to the to the office. So then we have uh, the question: Where is the office? So I believe uh, some of you already um, go through our campus virtual tour in the one that uh, brothers and all have put into our. Telegram group. Uh, in the virtual campus tour, you can find this uh, building called Administration Building. Uh, so the, the office of CCSU is located at the ground floor of the Administration Building. Um, or you can also set an appointment, a scheduled appointment by filling the appointment form provided or through the telephone. Now, nowadays, you can also set an appointment through online. So, um, so the positive part of this uh, all this new normal life that we are in right now, um, everything goes online. So even with the uh, um, session with the counselor, so I'm not sure how they can conduct this appointment online appointment. So you can always uh, ask the question in the Telegram group. So that's one of the proposed. Uh, we set up the telegram group. So any student that want to have an online session with a counselor, uh, for example, uh, Madam Harani, all the counselors, they are very experienced brothers and sisters. So please do not, uh, uh, we call this, miss these opportunities. Take these opportunities to communicate with our senior counselors, uh, to, to have a session with them, online session with them. And you can ask in the Telegram Telegram group later because I'm not putting in my slide the the mechanism to have an online appointment with our counselors. So, inshallah, if any of you are interested to have the online session with our uh, our counselors, uh, please uh, um, highlight this in our Telegram group. And inshallah, from time to time, our our counselors will conduct an online seminar, you know, online program, and we will announce this in the Telegram group uh, if you are interested to join this program. Okay, next. So this is uh, another unit. I, um, it is a sport unit, and the head unit is uh, Brother Shahruddin Ahmad Mohsinon. Uh, he's a sport, uh, sport officer for this uh, unit. These are among others the annual major activities conducted by this unit. Uh, we have the sport and martial art carnival, or well known as MAC. Uh, we also have a talent scouting for the varsity team. You know, um, even if you are in this center, you also get the opportunities to represent the university uh, in other competition. And then we also have this uh, Pesta Sukan Iktim. Iktim stands for Institute Pengajian Tinggi Islam Malaysia, uh, where we're competing with all other Islamic institutions in Malaysia. You know? And then we also have internal and external sports invitation program, and also participate in the Kejohanan Sukan Antara Asasi Mesti Awam Peringkat Kebangsaan. And then we have IAM staff game. Uh, staff game, you're not involved. Lah. Uh, if you want to involve the staff game, of course, we have to be our staff first. Lah, eh? Okay, next. So this uh, just a sharing among other pictures and photos uh, of the Inter Asasi game. Of course, um, I think they have difficulties to conduct or to organize this uh, Inter Asasi games. You know, um, the next host is the University of Malaya in the Pantai, Kuala Lumpur, and usually this game is uh, scheduled to be on January, uh, every January each year. And we are still waiting whether they are going to proceed with these games or not. Uh, might as well if the if the pandemic uh, persists uh, with the cases, with the increase of cases right now, uh, I think they will postpone the games. Or might be if, even if they conduct the games, it's going to be online. Okay. Okay. Next. 
So these are the clubs which is we put under the sport unit, uh, which is the all the martial arts, uh, sila cika, sila gayung, akido, and then uh, capoeira. We do have capoeira. Uh, capoeira, I'm not sure we still have it or not. Uh, and then uh, taekwondo, karate, sila cika, Malaysia, and adventure club also under the sport unit. Okay, next. So there are among other activities that conducted by our sport unit. Next. So this is the the closing of uh, sport and martial art carnival. Next. And then the last unit of this office is known as Chitra. Chitra is a short form for Center for Arts and Cultural Sustainable Development. The head of unit is Brother Abdul Rahman Raja. Uh, he is also a lecturer in the center. Okay, next. So the main function of this Chitra is to coordinate and to manage and to conduct all the um, activities pertaining to arts. Eh? Pertaining to arts. For example, uh, theater, pantomime, concert, nashi competition and other things. So these are some of the pictures that uh, involve the program conducted by Chitra. Okay, next. Now, maybe the next question that you would like to know is that how the student can join this society and clubs. So you can register in this uh, link, which is will be shared to you later in Telegram group. Well, I believe that, I'm not sure you, you can click on this link or not, but later on, uh, I know we'll share this link in, in your Telegram group. And then you can click the, this uh, link, and then um, it will pop up the Google form. And with the Google form, you fill in uh, all your particulars, uh, and then you submit, and then automatically you become the members of the society or the club that you have chosen. Okay, next. So this is an example of the the. the Appearance of the Google form uh, when you click the link. Okay, next. Oh, we have another unit uh, which is known as Residential Discipline Welfare Unit (RDW). The head of the unit is Chair Baka Oma. Uh, he is the Senior Assistant Director. He is the Admin Officer. Okay, next. So the function of this of this unit uh, is about managing the mahala, where the mahala is led by a principal or pengetua asrama. And then assisted by the staff and fellow. Well, fellow is uh, just like a warden uh, in your school. And then you also con uh, managing this uh, student representative at the hostel level. Uh, each hostel have their own student representative, uh, known as Mahala Representative Committee. Okay, next. Uh, among others, the role of this unit is to manage the student's accommodation. If you have any problem with regarding the rooms and the facilities of the Mahala, you can refer to this unit. And they also manage the welfare of the unit. We have the welfare fund, we have the Jakarta fund, and also we have a group insurance. Okay, next. So these are among others the, the benefits from the insurance. Uh, if you accidental death, it covers uh, 30,000. Permanent total disablement, 30,000. Medical expenses, 1,000 ringgit. Funeral expenses, 1,000 ringgit. Okay, next. The insurance even covered the snatch theft, ataupun ragut. Eh? Uh, so you get 300 ringgit uh, if you are a victim of a snatch thief. Uh, please don't get yourself into this purposely just to get the money. <laughs> and then uh, snack or insect bites, 300 ringgit. Dengue, yeah, 300 ringgit. Okay, next. Discipline. Uh, brothers and sisters, we, we need discipline in the campus in any way you go. Uh, discipline is about rules and order about the campus. Now, we have rules and discipline everywhere. Even if you travel uh, in the flight, for example, or either Asia or Malaysia Airlines system, they have rules and regulation, you know. So, Every place you go have rules and regulation, including this campus. Okay, next. 
Now, please always refer to our student discipline rules booklet. Uh, everything is stated in the booklet. So that is why there's no reason for the students to give reasons. They, they don't know this, don't know that, and other things. Now, the most uh, important things that you must understand, uh, there is a slight difference between the rules and regulation in the main campus and the center, uh, brothers and sisters. So um, the previous students always compare between the rules and regulation between the center and main campus. They are totally different, brothers. Uh, in center, our rules and regulation uh, is quite strict compared to the uh, main campus because why in this center, uh, you are groomed uh, in your transition period from school to the university. So because of this transition, uh, we have uh, quite strict rules and regulation for you to uh, uh, follow. Uh, okay, next. So please don't compare between the main campus and the center. Uh, basically, the rules and regulation between the main campus and the center are similar. But there are a few things that we have uh, enhanced pertaining to the rules and regulation. For example, if we can see the picture here, that in this center, the students must always wear office attire during office hour, especially uh, going to classes. You know, office attire means that you must wear um, uh, shirt, uh, t-shirt is not allowed, okay? You must wear shirt. It's gonna be, it should be plain. The t-shirt should be plain. But if you have uh, uh, some, well, a little bit uh, pe uh, line, design, uh, okay. But not to have this, uh, uh, we call this uh, um, uh, a design of a dragon, you know, tiger. This one not allowed, lah. Just a plain or slightly plain uh, design shirt. And then your trousers for brothers, eh? the trousers must be black color. And then the shoes must be black. Um, the shoes must be black, must be decent, uh, not a sport shoes. But if you have the sport shoes with the all black, then we can allow that. Uh, um, not, to, not to be a very colorful black color design sport shoes. Eh? And then uh, you must always wear your metric card, uh, of course, uh, metric card, and then your necktie only compulsory on Wednesday. Okay, okay next. So these are the examples that we allow students to wear to class and during office hour. Next. Now, beside the office attire, you can also wear the shirt with the right hand, we call this right hand cutting, eh? right hand fashion. Uh, so, and then, uh, of course, the rest is the same, black uh, trousers and black shoes. Sisters, yes, uh, sisters, you must always wear, uh, well, first, metric card, and then uh, wear a head cover to do, and then you must also have the inner scarf for anak to do, and where the hair should not be seen. And then the baju kurung uh, must be loose, not so tight, fitting, or no figure hugging, or transparent, you know. Of course, baju kebaya is not allowed. Yeah? And then uh, should not uh, reveal any contours of your body. And then uh, your, what else? We have this, uh, the shoe must be black also for the sisters. Yeah? And slippers and sandals, of course, or any type are not allowed. Uh? Uh, to to do, to you uh, uh, when you attending class. Okay, next. So this is about Wednesday. Uh, Wednesday we have a special dress code. Uh, for example, for brothers, necktie is compulsory for every Wednesday. So if necktie com is compulsory, then you cannot wear the right hand shirt. You know, nobody wear right hand shirt with the necktie. So that is why. But the necktie is compulsory on Wednesday, so it's not suitable for you to wear the right hand shirt. So that is why you must wear a complete set of the office attire with the necktie. And then for sisters, uh, um, you must wear white to do uh, for every Wednesday. Might as well you ask, why Wednesday, not on Monday or Friday? Well, Friday, uh, Wednesday is a special day for this center. So sometimes there is a day where we have a special occasion with all students. 
uh, where this, the, the staff are aware of this, uh, this, uh, this uh, middle of the week or the Wednesday, so they can adjust the classes and, and others. So that's why we choose Wednesday as a special dress code for all students. Okay, next. Now for outing, uh, outing. So the attire should be decent. Uh, must be sopan. Uh, must be polite. Uh, for example, in this diagram, these are the example of the uh, male attire for outing that we approve. Okay, next. So this also we approve. If you want to wear this during your outing, I think this is the best. You know, uh, your outing, you want to pass malam wearing this, we do allow. If you can wear this, then it should be on kata apa, hebat lah. Next. Uh, this one is the approved female attire for our team. Okay, next. Uh, so for sisters, uh, um, a niqab is not allowed in the campus. Uh, so if you have this outside campus, uh, it must be permissible. But in the campus, uh, it is not allowed. Okay, next. Uh, this one is not allowed for sisters, you know. So it's very uh, attractive, uh, very uh, kata apa, bling bling. So it's not allowed in this campus. Eh? Okay, nice. So, brothers and sisters, we have our own culture and lifestyle in the campus, among others. So, this is Islamic culture and lifestyle, you know. Uh, a couple to halal, uh, only after you have, you have what you call this. Uh, uh, after you have bernikah uh, After nikah saja uh, Kalau belum nikah, tak boleh uh, So, di CFS uh, Kamu tidak dibenarkan berkahwin dulu uh, Kerana apa? Kerana jadual kita sangatlah padat uh, So, the couple only allow after after marriage uh, Not before that So, that is the our Islam culture Okay, next uh, For example, uh, big uh, close proximity uh, without any reason, uh, that's called ikhtilat. So this is a picture of campaign. Jom remove ikhtilat. So that's what we mean by ikhtilat. Uh, getting together different gender without any reason, so it is haram. Okay, next. Uh, ikhtilat cover your aura and then lower your gaze uh, and then please alert your social limit, uh, especially humble during this pandemic, uh, pandemic time. You must always maintain your physical distance. Yeah. Okay. Next. Sitting together, you know, sitting together, chit chatting together. This is against Islamic culture. Now, if you see someone doing this uh, uh, behind us, in front of us, we can prevent them. We can advise them. But if you see anyone doing this behind us, please advise them or please report to the authority. Okay. Next. Yes. This I think is most basic. Of, uh, of our obligation as a Muslim uh, about five da uh, daily prayer uh, where this five daily prayer is the pillars of Islam uh, if he doesn't perform any one of these then Islam is not complete within you uh, to be a complete Muslim you must perform five daily prayers you know it is a strong obligation in Islam you cannot leave even one one uh, apa orang kata salah satu waktu pun uh, you cannot leave any one of it you must perform all five daily prayers so no reason behind it uh, you know so in this campus we are strongly addressing this uh, this particular matters which is five daily prayers uh, without performing five daily prayers uh, then you must be aware that by only performing these five day prayers, Allah, Allah will ease your matters, not just in CFS, but in your life. So there are many problems happening in the world, happening uh, within the family, happening uh, to the individual. So most of it, why? Because of the lack of the awareness of these five daily prayers. Uh, because if you did perform these five daily prayers, how can Allah help you? Uh, only by performing these five daily prayers, by your remembrance of Allah, Allah will remember you and Allah will help you. Okay? So please make sure that you observe this obligation. Uh, and we in CFS strongly, uh, strongly advise students to observe the five daily prayers. Okay, next. 
And of course, uh, smoking or vaping or in possession of cigarettes of all vaping materials is an offense. In fact, it's a serious offense in the campus. So please, uh, please make sure, make, make sure that you're not involved with this uh, street, uh, upper, um, this prohibited uh, habit. Okay, next. Smoking kills, everyone knows, you know. Uh, the only times will tell how we will die, how we will get all the, the effect from this, the, from the smoking activities. Okay, next. So, brothers and sisters, this is a futuristic campus, the new campus. Uh, this campus is just open one year ago, everything is new. Okay, next. Next. So these are some of the buildings we like to share to you. I believe you already saw this in our virtual campus tour. Next. So this is our well-owned, our sport complex. So it welcomes you, inshallah, in the second half of semester two. So just pray together that, uh, uh, that the pandemic, uh, the pandemic cases or the COVID cases being reduced and everything back to normal and then you'll be allowed to come back uh, in the second half of the semester two huh? okay next this uh, uh sharing is a musala in the mahala uh, the rooms in the in the mahala so everything is brand new this is our mosque uh, fully air so these are uh, some of the buildings in the campus Right, um, we'll end this session with a frequently asked question. So let's go through with the FAQ. So the, um, this FAQ is based on the previous question that we asked by the student during this session. So might as well, uh, some of the question will answer your, 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 your intention. Uh, may, might be some of you have already a few questions to be asked. Might be is this included in this FAQ. Let's look at the first one. Question one, can I have my own vehicle on campus? Now, the answer is, due to the limited parking area, so even motorcycles are not allowed in order to reduce the carbon in campus. Now, question two, can I stay off campus? Yes, if you, you can stay off campus, provided your house is near to the campus. So kindly request the form from my office. Question three, how can I join the club facilities? I think it is uh, answered on a, one of the slides. And inshallah, the Google link form will be shared with you in the uh, Telegram group uh, by Cik Zainal later on. Question 4. Can I join off-campus program or can I invite outsiders? Now please be reminded, resistors, students are not allowed to join outside campus without the permission. You can join but with the permission of the management. Uh, because why? This is to ensure the safety and security of you. Besides, the start point uh, which is the point for your co-curricular activities only being given for the program recommended by the university, not by outsiders. So we like to invite you to focus on the program inside campus or outside campus organized by SDCE. So question five, can I bring musical instrument? You are only allowed to bring musical instrument for the purpose of performance. Playing this musical instrument in the room is strictly prohibited because you might disturb uh, your friends. Question 6. What is the address should you use for online purchasing? Because uh, as you know, nowadays uh, um, um, online uh, transaction is uh, increasing yes? because everyone is staying at home, right? So, but maybe um, when you have the chance to come to the campus, you might as well want to use the address. So the address are stated there. Uh, if you are staying in Mahala Umama, for example, you just stay in Mahala Umama. Of course, you put your name there. Uh, Pusat Asasi, University Islam Antara Bangsa Malaysia, Campus Gambang. Uh, the postcode is 26300 Gambang Pahang. Uh, so you can take this address, but uh, nevertheless, you, you can share this in the Telegram group later. Um, and then I'd like to share with you, there are conditions that you must fulfill when you order online. Um, so um, I'd like to request Cik Zaino to share the, one of the document pertaining to the, uh, what we call this, uh, parcels in, in Mahala. Alright, yeah, can you... 
zoom a little bit the document. Okay, some more, some more. Yeah, I need to say that shade. Okay. Uh, everyone getting this? Please respond, anyone? Yes, yes. Right, thank you. Yes, Let's sir. continue. Oh, not this one. Ah, this one. So, uh, brothers and sisters, there are conditions that you should fulfill when you order online eh, later on. Um, number one, please be reminded that um, the mother office will not be responsible for any damage or lo uh, losses of the parcels. Number one. Number two, the parcels only allowed to be kept in the office for five working days. So please remind mind on this. Uh, if anyone forgot or you know purposely you didn't collect the parcel after this period, please be reminded that the parcel will dispose. Right? And then number three, what most important is the size of the parcel. You must understand that the office have a very limited space. So you cannot order um, well a large item. No, suddenly you order online bicycle, you know, you you order the whole box of uh, maybe what we call this uh, huge item. And now please be reminded that our office uh, have a very limited space, so that is why your parcel must be limited to fifteen centimeter times thirty centimeter times fifteen centimeter in dimension. In other words, it's the size of the cubic size of A4. You know, 15 times 30 times 15. Now, if we found out that your parcel is too large, the mother office have the right to reject the parcel. And then, uh, next one, all students must uh, justify the content of the parcel to the mother officer. Any illegal item will be confiscated. So that is why another rule is that the students are required, uh, required by the mother officer uh, to show the content of your parcel. So we don't want any item to be bought by the students in the mala. Uh, we are not inviting any police to come to our office. So that is why we have decided that when you get your parcels, you must show just a little bit. Maybe you can koyak sikit, you know, tear a little bit, show to the officer that you are not getting legal item no, from online transaction. Okay, next. Let's continue with the FAQ. So we're waiting for the share sharing uh, um, page. We go to the next question, which is uh, question number seven. The question says that does all students will receive scholarship? Now, brothers and sisters, for information, um, only students with the household income, uh, meaning that the income of your father combined with your mother, uh, if the total is less than ten thousand ringgit. Then you'll be given scholarship only if your application is approved by the ministry. Uh, more than ten thousand, then your, your parents have to have you pro, have to provide uh, all the expenses uh, from the fee and then from your other things uh, for your food, photo stay, and others. Okay, next. Question eight. Uh, playing online games is allowed because nowadays, uh, from our survey, many students uh, like to play online games. Now, please, please, please be, be reminded that the Wi-Fi or the internet facilities in campus, of course, we provide we provide free Wi-Fi in Mahala in our campus. They are free for you, but it is strictly for educational purposes. 
or online games competition conducted by my office, uh, by the units, especially by the sport unit. So the rest, yeah, you should not use our facilities uh, to play the online games. Question number nine, can I get medical treatment from private hospital? Well, you may attend private hospital, but the university will only cover the expenses in the government hospital. So that one you have to refer to your parents, because some parents, they have the private hospital as their panel, panel hospital or panel clinics. So that one we can allow, allow you to go to this private hospital, as long as it is the when your if your parents are the are the what subscribe to the panel package of this uh, private uh, hospital or clinics, and then the last question: Can I can I run small business in the campus? Brothers and sisters, your focus in the campus is to study. So, I think you should focus on your study. Uh, the schedule is very tight. You have a lot of credit hours to fulfill. Simon, tests, quizzes, lectures, and others. So please focus on your study. So that is why uh, only if you, if the if you want to involve with the businesses activities, please join our entrepreneurship club because only approved program uh, by club or society are allowed to conduct business. So I think that is all uh, presentation from my office. So now I think we can open to question and answers. So anyone can start. Oh. If you are uh, if you are online, or you, you can say away. Uh, well, address your question, or you may uh, put it on the online chatting. Eh? Online chatting. Saya share dokumen yang tadi PowerPoint dan share in the group. Later. So we'll share the, 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 the slide later in, your, in the Telegram group. Can we join more than one club? Okay, there is a question. Can we join more than one club? Yes, you can join more than one club. But um, I don't think you can be active in more than one club with all the decisions and whatsoever. But yes, you're allowed to join more than one club. Okay. Some more questions? When can we apply for the scholarship? Right, brothers and sisters, uh, the, the scholarship uh, have the cycle. Uh, the cycle for scholarship usually um, between August and September. And it's very unfortunate that your intake is on November. So actually, basically, if you look at the cycle, you, you guys already miss the application cycle. But nevertheless, you may refer to our finance if there are any other um, finance assistance that you are entitled to. Okay. Can we join other club activities? Of course. Well, when the clubs conduct the activities, usually they open to other students as well. Okay, are we automatically enrolled in the academic society or we have to apply in order to be enrolled? For academic society, you are, you are automatically enrolled for academic based society. You know, for example, uh, econs, engineering, uh, med C, medical, and what do you call this? Uh, medical, medical society. society. That one is automatically enrolled. But for other clubs, you have to apply through the link. So, please, any more questions? Very interesting. So many questions. our roommate. <laughs> um, brothers and sisters, uh, in Islam, we promote Islamic Ukhwah with other people. So if you choose your roommate with someone that you didn't know is better. But if you chill or if you still or insist you want to have your own, uh, your own choice, uh, you can uh, always uh, uh, refer to the fellow or principal uh, for this matter. 
So basically, we do allow, but then we still advise you to well, to to seek new friends, you know, to establish new uh, networking, you know, because why you can always see your friends or your close friend later. Then, yeah. uh, if you um, attend your friend in school, so and then in university, I think it's quite boring, and right? you always meet him every time, everywhere, you know, so. You can have your friend in other room. You can meet him later on, and then you can have a new new friends. So we like to promote, you know, uh, a new networking among you. Okay, next. Okay, next. Uh, what can I do when my roommates disturb me? Well, we have favorite principal in Mala. You don't worry. You know, always refer to your principal in Mala. Yes, Usually, we will uh, provide uh, another new room for you. So we have plenty of room resistors in this. In this, uh, in this campus. Okay, next. Next, if if I have received another scholarship, yeah, yeah, Sam Paham, uh, will not be able to get that scholarship. Okay, so good. depends depends on the scholarship. Sometimes the scholarship allow you to have other other financial assistance. So it depends um, with the kementerian. So you can still apply, but if the ministry says that uh, you should have only yeah, Sam Paham, then that's it. Uh, besides that, we also have uh, other financial assistance, for example, zakat, welfare, you know. So, if we think that the Yayasan uh, scholar is not sufficient for you, you can always apply for welfare and zakat fund from the center. Okay, how about academic students in Gombak campus? Do Can they join activities such as Sukan Asasi and others? Um, as long as you are a CFS student, you can join. doesn't matter where you are. Whether in Bomba or in Gamba campus, if you are registered as CFS student, you also allowed to join or participate in those competition. Okay, well, where's our Mahala soon? Zaharawi or Biruni? Right, so this one yeah, will be determined later uh, by our residential and discipline uh, welfare unit regarding uh, where your Mahala will be yeah, later on. Okay, do we not have a virtual campus tour for IIUM Academy in Gombak for foundation students? Um, this one you have to refer to Gombak campus because why due to the CMCO uh, area or travel station uh, this, uh, during this pandemic, uh, we couldn't get our crew to Gombak campus to conduct the virtual campus tour. Uh, but inshallah. Um, if you go to the Gomba and uh, Gomba campus, uh, might be you can well explore by yourself uh, there. Okay, next. How about our attire during online class? Now, during the online class, it depends on the lecturer. If the lecturer asks you to wear uh, proper attire, you must wear proper attire. If the lecturer requests you to wear office attire, you just wear office attire. Now, Resistors, it should be flexible. You know, uh, nowadays uh, online classes, uh, you need to show only your face and upper part of your body. So that's why we can see that people are wearing sarong, but then they are wearing their, their, their shirt yeah, and then their tie. So it's okay, you know, wearing sarong and shirt, it's okay. And then uh, your, you can wear your kebaya, but in uh, well, upper body, you wear proper attire, you know. So it doesn't matter, it should be flexible, what is this? Okay, okay. Next. Uh, societies or club have particular requirements? Um, basically, there's no specific requirement uh, to join the club and, and societies. So don't worry about that. Even you get straight A, you know, you get 4A, 3A, everyone are welcome to join this club and society. Okay, next. Any more questions? Yeah, what's this? Uh, can asthmatic student get a lower level room at the hostel? Other sisters, our campus is OKU or needy student uh, friendly. So please uh, address this to the to the officer that uh, that's uh, relevant to the unit. For example, in your case, for the needy students who want to have a specific room. Uh, pertaining to their needs, 
we can refer to the residential discipline welfare unit uh, from my presentation just now, which is uh, Encik Nawaka. So you can refer to him uh, to get uh, certain specific room based on your needs. Uh, either because of your asthmatic, because of your physical disablement. So we will cater all these needy students, no problem. Okay, next. Uh, uh, how about student from Sabah and Sarawak? When can I we think go we to have, the government campus? We have some of few questions out there, you know, obesity. Yes, we do cater for the obesity students. Uh, what else? Uh, what if I got submitted to psychiatric ward during the online lessons? You s please refer to your, um, upper, you provide the evidence to your lecturer and then they will, the lecturer will adjust accordingly. Is there any interview to enter a club? Uh, no interview to enter any club or society. Okay, next. How about student from Sabah and Sarawak? When can we go to the Gambang campus? Because some of us need to buy tickets. Now, brothers and sisters, uh, um, from the academic calendar, it is clearly stated when you will allow to go to the uh, to come to our, our campus. So based on based on that calendar, and please seek the confirmation. Uh, with our officers, uh, because why the calendar is also subject to changes. It's subject to changes according to the dynamism of the pandemic. Uh, because why if the pandemic still persists uh, strongly, so might as well that the whole semester two will be conducted online. So to confirm on this, please always refer to our officers before you buy the ticket. We don't want that when you buy the ticket, suddenly we cancel the academic calendar. So that will, will give you trouble on this, especially on the financial issues. So please be aware before you buy any ticket, online ticket, well, we are aware that um, usually students will like to buy the ticket earlier, so you get, you get cheaper, right? So we know this, but unfortunately during this pandemic, no one is sure about anything, you know? So please make sure um, you refer to officer pertaining to the availability of the student to come to the campus. Because always referring to, depends on the dynamism of the pandemic. Uh, so if the pandemic persists, so might as well you have to, you have to be online for the whole semester too. Okay, next. Okay, what is the purpose of the star point? Now, Prime Minister, the star point pertaining to the co-curricular activity. Now, basically, if you graduate from the center, you have two certificates, Prime Ministers. One is the academic certificate, one is the co-curricular certificate. Usually, this co-curricular uh, co certificate is for you to compete with others to apply the scholarship when you go to the degree program. So, usually, the the the, the, the sponsor, the, the sponsor institution, we like to see that you are a balanced student in terms of academic and the co-curricular. So, to get a good curricular um, achievement, you must uh, you must uh, gain a certain uh, star point. Uh, so that you, you get a good grade for the co-curricular certificate. Uh, then you can fight for scholarship, you know. So that is why I advise you to participate as much as program in our campus. Because each, particip each participation will give you star point. Okay, next. How a club manage to accept students? I think we have a few questions up there. Do we do we have elevator in our mahala? Is uh, already answered. No. No. Okay. Okay. But what's clear? How a club manage to accept students? How a club manage to accept students? Um, they will accept you. No, don't worry. You just apply for it. You just choose in the Google form. Okay. Next. Uh, if a student is from a red zone but their house have poor internet connection. Can they stay at the campus? Is it possible for them to stay? Um, unfortunately, according to SOP, the from the red zone is not allowed to be in the campus. So please, brothers and sisters, from now you still have you still have time to find your ways. We still have one week uh, to find your ways in the red zone. Very unfortunate because one according to SOP, student from red zone is not allowed to be in the campus. Even you can uh, any other campuses as well. You know, student from red zone are not allowed to be in the campus. Okay, next. Can you recommend the best telco provider in CFS, the most stable and fast if possible? I think the, the most best provider in CFS is our Wi-Fi. It's very, it's very strong. We have one, one gigabyte speed in our campus. But if you want to 
to have this best telco provider is depend on the coverage. Lah. So I myself using Cellcom, I think the coverage is quite good. You know, I'm not promoting Cellcom. Please, please don't get me wrong. I don't get any commission whatsoever, you know, <laughs> from the Cellcom. But I'm using Cellcom for myself. Okay, next. I think the 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 the, the demand is getting is increasing. What the question? Is it possible? Can you come here? Okay. You talk. You talk to. Who is this? Yasi. Who is this? Yasi. New student. So new student. How do you know? You talk is uh, have the strong coverage in CFS. <laughs> have you been in Gambang before? Brothers. Sometimes maybe they get info from their senior, you know? I I think this is it. I think we can continue discussion in the Telegram group, brothers and sisters. I myself also in the Telegram group. So I've been observing your conversation for the past, uh, uh, for, for a while. So please continue to discuss in the Telegram group. Don't worry, if you even if you know I'm in the group, don't be shy, please address accordingly. Uh, please uh, discuss with a very, what you call this, in a very cheerful environment. Uh, please make sure you observe akhlaq and then, never mind if you want to put a few good jokes, uh, fine jokes, no problem, I can allow that, you know. But please don't drag too long because why the purpose of this telegram is to communicate uh, between the new student and the uh, organizing committee. So that you can get uh, good information and good knowledge about this uh, CFS, uh, for well to to ease your 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 well your preparation when you want to come to the campus, uh, even for online. So maybe they can give you a few advice on that. So thank you very much uh, for staying with us in this online uh, briefing. Uh, stay safe, you know, stay cheer, <coughs> and hopefully uh, we can meet uh, in our second half of semester two. So I think that's all. Thank you very much. Um, I want to close or so hand over to... So I hand over this session to brothers and all. Thank you, thank you very much, everyone. And thank you very much to our crew in this our temporary studio. So, wa bilai taufiq wa hidayah. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Okay, uh, alhamdulillah. Thank you very, uh, thank you very much, Brother Tan Fudisha bin Taib, uh, for sharing a lot of information on student development and community engagement. Okay, so if there are any questions or any clarification needed. Uh, please send it to the telegram group inshallah we will answer it okay uh, for this morning presentation I will share the slide and also the document in the telegram group okay so inshallah tomorrow will be our last uh, session there will be two live session for tomorrow okay so please access or click the link uh, that will be shared in the telegram group uh, so, please uh, watch the videos again on uh, Office of the Deputy Dean, Student Development and Community Engagement and please make sure that you answer the quiz in the online Ta'aruf kit. Okay, so there is a small label in the, in the online Ta'aruf kit that tell quiz, so please answer that thing. Okay. So I think that's all from us right now. Uh, please stay safe and please keep updated in the Telegram group. Inshallah, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Thank you very much. Thank you. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Ajwa. Bawa <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Tak ada tanya dua kali tanya ha, benda yang sama. Mula macam mana kalau saya Ha-ha. masuk sekretari kuat kan? Ha-ha. Dan Ha-ha. tengah kelas. Lepas tu macam mana boleh ke saya jalankan kelas online kalau saya dalam buat? Ha, sebab buat tak boleh bawa buat pun. Dia kena... Dia kena... Dia kena tunjuk bukti. Sambil kelas online tu saya tunjuk bukti. Tapi dia tak boleh bawa buat pun. Kena tunjuk bukti. Sambil kelas online tu saya tunjuk bukti. Tapi dia tak boleh bawa buat pun. Kena tunjuk bukti. Sambil kelas online tu saya tunjuk bukti. Tapi dia tak boleh bawa buat pun. Kena tunjuk bukti. Sambil kelas online tu saya tunjuk bukti. Tapi Saya share presentation dengan yang pasal dengan convert ke PDF boleh tak? Boleh. Yang pasal tu saya convert PDF. Convert PDF, waktu slide tu convert PDF. Okey. Sebab dulu tu dah ada dalam slide tu suruh saya share sekarang. Eh bukan ada dalam tu ke dalam kita punya info package online? Ada tapi dia nak kena cari scroll-scroll lain. Convert PDF boleh okay. Yang ni Google Meet dah tutup kan? Eh? Uh, Google Meet uh, boleh lah. Dah tutup ke? Belum, kena leave call kan? Uh, okay, kejap pergi dekat YouTube tadi YouTube atas tu End stream Dah stream? End Yang ni Google Meet Haa, uh, tahu, kejap Yang ni? Dah, dah mute ke tu? Dah, dah mute Tak nak try balik apa ni presentation ni Ni, end stream hmm. Nanti share gambar tu eh? Hmm. Gambar... End, end. Come on, end. Ambil nak test. Tak, let lo. Uh, end lo. Uh, 